Hey guys, what is going on? It is Deboki here once again, and it is time for another Maple Story video. I am here on Pillow Mints, and I did change up Pillow Mints' look. Look at this. Got myself uh, a new royal hair and royal eyes. I thought it looked pretty cute, so I'm um, keeping it for now. This video, I think I'm going to go ahead and mainly focus on training. So this is going to be a grinding video. Um, just warning you guys, that's pretty much all I'm going to be doing. I'm almost 60%. And I want to go ahead and try to level up. Maybe at the end of the video, I might try Chaos Queen again. Last video, we made some huge gains. Um, took down the Chaos Chicken Wing, which was incredible. So we were almost there with the Chaos Queen. But we did get some upgrades. And I think we can go ahead and take her down. Um, but I just kind of want to chill and grind it out. It's kind of late in the night here for me. And kind of want to wind down the evening with a little grinding session on Maple Story. So... I got myself a totem, which I'm probably not going to even use all of it, making sure that all my legions and all my buffs are aligned here for training session times, which I think it is. So where do I want to go train? Probably in Choo Choo Island in, hmm, this is a really nice spot, this Bitty Bobble Forest one, but it's very popular. I don't think I'll be able to find a map here, but if I do, I actually have been finding quite a few maps here lately. Oh, there it is. <laughs> nice. Found one. Okay. So this is probably a map that I really like to train in when I can't find a map. Um, so let's go ahead and just make ourselves a little comfortable here before we pop on our other buffs. So I'm going to go ahead and pop on a 2x... Ooh, one hour? Now let's just do 30 minutes first. What's about to expire first? This is about to expire. These are 15 minute buffs. We'll try to remember to pop it on again. Pop on all of our buffs so that we can try to be one-shotting here. And I think that's it. Yeah, we got our double X and we got our totem here popped in. There we are. And we're just gonna go ahead and get ourselves a little cozy. And let's just go to town now. Yeah, this map is super good. I like it that the marksman split shot can reach the top platforms also, so that I can just stay here and chill. Oh, I did want to go ahead and get, hmm, alright, alright, I'm going to try to really quickly go back to town. I want to get some legion buffs for my meso and drop rate. I know it's not really that worth, but it's going to help out with the training, or at least the meso wise, and the drops, you know, so let's go and pop this on too. Since we're just so hungry for mesos, I think it'll be good. So I'm going to pop on these buffs as well to increase my meso and drop right here. Just to have it. While I train, I can just kind of chat with y'all if you don't mind. And I can just talk away a little bit. I think it gives me a good excuse to be able to talk too and just hang out. Because I was thinking about it, actually. Um, what What is it like playing MapleStory? <laughs> like, what is it about MapleStory that you find fun? So I, I get asked this quite a bit from people that don't really play Maple Story, and I try to explain it to them, you know, like, this is pretty much what it's like playing Maple Story, right? Like, you're grinding away, you're training, and you're hitting things, and it's an acquired taste, you know, for sure. People don't really understand it at first. It's not very action-packed, and there's not a lot of things going on all the time, um, especially in these grinding moments. But then I took a step back and was just kind of thinking about it some more, like, what is it that I really do enjoy about it? And I think it's that Maple Story offers me right now the ability to do other things while playing Maple Story, like really focus on other things. And I want to go ahead and ask you guys this on that note is when when was the last time that you actually listened to music, like really listened to music? Music is usually these days just a background thing, right? It's in the background when you're doing something else and it's just kind of amplifying or adding enhancing what what are you were doing studying or working out so i'm asking this because when i play maple story and i think a lot of you guys that are like probably around this level or have been playing maple story for a while we do other things while we play maple story while we're training and grinding right whether it's be watching a show talking with friends listening to music it's cool because maple story gives us the opportunity to do these things and still progress the character and still like level up and grind on something while we're doing something else in a way and then when the time comes like when you're bossing or when you're you're pushing gains and stuff where it requires focus then you can put all your focus back into maple and you're ready to go i'll just be honest with you like when i'm grinding on maple store and i'm training or farming i'm never just purely 
focused on Maple Story, right? I'm doing something else usually. I'm watching a show, I'm listening to music, and that's what hit me was uh, when I was listening to music the other night while grinding on Maple Story, I was really focused on the music. Like Maple Story takes very little focus when I'm when you're training. But like I was able to really enjoy and I guess appreciate the music that was playing in the background. And right now, like since I'm making a video, you guys are I guess my music in a way because I don't want to be grinding and doing something else right like that's why like like streaming when people stream Maple Story and training it's it's really nice because you can interact with the audience and train um, and it's just not purely focusing on on just training because this is very just repetitive task like like I said before it's very therapeutic and it's very relaxing to do but I mean you able to complement this training w while doing something else so it's very nice and I think that's like what's like really cool about Maple Story is you're able to kind of take your mind off of things you know it doesn't take that much effort and that much thought into just training and grinding away but you're also able to progress and make some gains while you do so and Maple for me you know is like really just play at your own pace you know it's it should be a stress-free game in a sense. I know I know the cubing, the bossing and such, but it's a it's a game that, you know, you just progress at your own pace and you're able to play at your own pace. If you don't feel like grinding or training, then you shouldn't. You should just chill. Oh my gosh, look at all those mesos dropping up there. Ooh. This is so good. I love having some extra drop rate on the character. Just to see those meso bags, oh my goodness gracious. This is farming mesos on a Marksman 101, guys. With 0% meso drop gear. <laughs> we're just, uh, we're trying to make some gains. So pretty much what I do for my rotation here is I will pop split shot and my repeating cartridge on the bottom platform. And then once that runs out, then I'll go ahead and pick up all the mesos just so they don't disappear. That's kind of like my little built-in timer. Going back to music, like I, I know I've been talking a lot about music and stuff, but I just I feel like it's so cool like how powerful songs can be, right? And music is. Like we all know that we can just attach memories with songs, like when it first played. We can almost vividly describe the scene, right? Like I'm actually curious if you guys have any of those moments and name the song and name what scene or your scene, right? Like the smells that you were smelling, the feelings that you're feeling, what you could just observe around you and what importance that song is to you. Because there, there's those songs for us when they just come on the radio or when they're playing, like it just almost brings you back to the first time you heard that song in a sense or a powerful association with that song um and mine was probably i mean i have a few but one that i can think of recently that happened for me was uh, stairway to heaven by led zeppelin it's probably one of my favorite songs um and it's a very important song to me and i think i told this maybe in one of my crafting stories minecraft video a long time ago but it was played or my friend played it his name was nick and he played it at my, I think, 7th grade or 8th grade talent show in middle school. And it just blew me away when he played it. And he just played it by himself. Usually Stairway to Heaven is played with so many different instruments. Um, I didn't know that. That was my first time hearing Led Zeppelin was in middle school at that time. And he played the whole song, which it's a pretty long song. There's like a lot of parts to it. And he crushed it, in my ears at least. You know, maybe of course... Back then, it was like, oh, you know, he's not really playing it that well. But to me, he just like, he was a rock star up there. And right after that moment, I picked up a guitar and I started playing. Like, I started to like learn how to play guitar because that was a, such an inspiring moment. And it sounded so beautiful. Just everything about the song. It really, I think, just put together a lot of stuff and I remember sitting on those like really weird plastic chairs in the cafeteria of my middle school I had one of those moments where I just zoned out usually when I'm in like a crowded area I'm very like not self-conscious but I'm very like aware of like everyone that's around me right like people are like moving around like someone's fidgeting and I like look over you know I'm usually trying to be like very observant in like crowded areas you know just to just to be observant I guess and what's happening around in my surroundings but I just remember in that time though, I just felt like I was alone and it was just me and Nick. Nick was up on stage 
and he was playing Stairway to Heaven, and it just like, it took me away, you know, it just, it really did. And it was just such a big turning point in my life, because I picked up guitar, I started a garage band, Right Turn Only, I've talked about that a few times. It made me want to create, you know? And I, I want to say, like, that's probably like a big stepping stone for me to create YouTube videos, too, because, you know, I'd be writing songs and making music and it was making something. It was making art. In a way, it tied back into into YouTube in a sense. So it was really cool. But this is what it's like playing Maple Story, guys. Like, seriously, just being able to enjoy other things, <laughs> if that makes sense, while just therapeutically grinding away on Maple. Um, I like to do a lot of self-reflecting too, you know, while I'm playing Maple Story, especially if I do have some music in the background or something and kind of just zoning out and doing a lot of thinking and reflecting. Sometimes we got to slow down, you know, like one of my favorite songs. Oh gosh, another song. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm talking a lot about music tonight, but it's Jack Johnson, Inaudible Memories, or sorry, Inaudible Melodies. Slow down. You're moving too fast. Frames can't catch you when you're moving like that. And it's just like, yeah, I mean, we're always moving around so fast in life, you know, like just zoom in, zoom in in life, trying to always get to the next step, the next stage. And we're not really enjoying these moments, you know, like it's OK to have these chill times. It's OK to do nothing because these are the times where we can actually reflect about the things that when we did something, if we're always doing something and we're always on the move and always on the go, like and always thinking about the next steps. You can't really just enjoy. There's no time to enjoy. Why is there a leap boss here? No, 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 no. I have a helper, I have a helper, thank goodness. Oh my gosh, it's an Adele. Ooh, beautiful Adele. Oh, and wrecking them too, look at this. Oh, I got some of these treasure chests, let's see what we got. Occult cubes, Occult ah. No, I don't like it. I don't like it. I forgot to check how much mesos I started with. So far, we're at 156 mil, though. I'm pretty sure I started with about 100 mil. Sounds about right. My rates, meso making rates, are not that good on <laughs> pillow mints here. Oh no, it's a Kana. No. Don't take my map. I'm sorry. No. Let me live. I'm just a humble marksman. Please, please, take your Yaksha away and leave this place. Oh, they left. <laughs> I'm the worst defender, guys. If someone came in to try to take this map, oh my gosh, it's theirs. I couldn't defend myself, no way. I've been kind of itching to play a Bowmaster again too, guys. Like, kind of go back to the way roots of the Archer. I do have Debo King, who is pretty powerful. Like, he's actually pretty geared up but if i played a bowmaster i'd probably want to start another one. <laughs> oh my gosh i have two marksmen on this account and if i started another bowmaster i'd have two bowmasters <laughs> i'd have so many archers on this account oh man ladies and gentlemen i would like to present to you a level 218 pillow mint wait a second there we go, <laughs> level 218, Woo! let's get it, let's get it. I feel like I did a lot in this video already. It's okay, we can, we can pack a lot in this video, it's fine. We'll just make this a bigger video, I guess. <laughs> Hope you all don't mind, because I want to go ahead and do an attempt on the Chaos Queen. That was a super chill train such, so I'm, I'm pretty loosey-goosey now. So hopefully we can go ahead and take this queen down. Um, let me go get buffed up really quick, and we'll go ahead and meet back here. We'll reconvene. But yeah, let me go get all my buffs. Ladies and gentlemen, we are ready. We are... No! It just DC'd! Oh, 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 oh no. I was... Fully buffed, guys. No way that just happened. Oh my god. Uh, well, I can't do any of the bosses. That really blows. Yeah, I don't I don't think I can complete Queen without those buffs. We're just gonna go ahead and do it. It's fine. We'll attempt. We'll do a good solid attempt here. Maple knew I was getting too strong, so he had to pull the plug on me. Look at this. Look at this, guys. Look at the top right here completely empty. Maple wants to do me dirty like that. I'll just go ahead and crush queen then. I'll show him. All right. We don't need it. 
Okay, so you guys were giving me some really good tips and tricks on how to kind of beat this queen. You guys said, vampire, just look for her animation and cast my dispel before she casts it so that it protects me. All right, I'm going to try to keep an eye out for that. You guys were also telling me about my net toss to kind of shoot back a little bit, slow the enemy. Put the anchor in the corner of the maps so that queen is kind of more aggroed into this corner's We'll go ahead and give that a shot, all right? All right, so I'm gonna put the anchor down over here. Nice. We're just gonna try to get as far as we can with this. So now we're gonna be bursting here from afar, just hitting her right in the booty. Oh, look at that. Oh, you guys are right, she is. She's going to the corner. Oh, this is wonderful. I'm gonna even net her too, look at this. Oh, we doing it, we doing it. Wait, wait, was that vampire? Shoot. I. Might need to look at her more though. No, she's gonna put the mirror again in bad spots. Can we break it? Can we break it? Do we break it? No, 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 no. Oh my gosh, dude. That's unfortunate. Oh, did it heal her too? And I, I think it did heal her. Unless I'm just doing no damage at all whatsoever to her. That's super unfortunate. That's a vampire. That's a vampire. Did I dodge it? <gasps> Wait, did I just dodge it? I think I dodged it. I think I dodged it. Where is this mirror at? Mirrors all the way downtown, dude. Mirrors all the way downtown. Are you serious? You're throwing the mirror all the way out here. I don't think I can do it, guys. I think that does heal her. I've died way too many times to the I'll be your opponent stuff, dude. All right, I'm going iframe. I can't afford that again. Iframing your mirror into pieces. How do you like that, huh? Two lives left, guys. Two lives too many. We got this. That was her mistake, giving me this many lives. What happened? Did I just die from AoE? One life special? Hello? I'm super duper lagging right now. I don't even see the mirror. I might be DCing. I think I'm DCing right now. Look at her, man. She's so scared she has to disconnect me like this. I can like keep spamming this skill, which I shouldn't be allowed to spam right now. Oh no, what's happening to my life? What is going on? Ah, uh, we got it. We definitely got the queen, guys. Next time. Next time, I will definitely take down the queen. I think right now just something, either my side or Maple's side, there's some uh, finicky things happening right now. Shoot, guys. That was, a, that was a really good attempt. Well, guys, I think I'm going to go ahead and end the video there. I want to say thank you guys so much for watching. Really, really awesome chill time today, just training away. Queen was a little bit unfortunate, not going to lie. Also, you guys should follow me on Twitter and Instagram. I post there. Try to post there more frequently. Um, so it'd be awesome if you guys did that. But anyways, this has been Aboki. Much love, one love. We'll be seeing you guys later. Goodbye.